Hiya. So today I'm going to share with you something that's annoyed me all week, took me ages to work out, and that is why was my sustain foot pedal not working with my keyboard? I'll show you the solution now and then explain the steps to how I got there. It is as simple as don't plug it in the whole way. That's a shot of my M32 with the sustain pedal slightly pulled out and it works. If I push it in, it doesn't work. I assume that's because there's a problem with the jack connector inside the M32 because the sustain pedal works absolutely fine in other keyboards. Okay, how did I get there? Well, I went through loads of videos and looked at things like complete control, checking the version numbers, checking the firmware, um, because it's an M32, we've got complete control software. I updated and made sure that was up to date. I checked the pedal settings, was in switch mode for the tip and the ring settings were set to 65 for the ring, 64 for the tip. Went through all that, everything absolutely fine. Then I started going through MIDI Studio on the Mac and looking at the different drivers, testing different things. Eventually, the way I managed to fault find it was off the Native Instruments website. I will put a link to this so you can choose whether you go for Windows or Mac. And what I did was downloaded this bit of software called MIDI Monitor, which allows you to see any MIDI signals that are coming through to your keyboard. So when you press a note on a keyboard, you get responses. And when you press the foot pedal, you'll get an on off as well. The problem was the on off. The problem was the pedal wasn't sending any information. All I did was accidentally had this open as I was trying to swap the pedal for a different pedal. And as I was pulling the jack cable out, I noticed that suddenly it triggered on the MIDI monitor that something had happened to the damper pedal. So I pushed it back in ever so slightly. The signals kept coming up as I wiggled it in and out. Eventually left it, as you can see in this photo, halfway, it's not quite half. As you can see in this photo, it's a little bit out. It's not uh, fully. As you can see in this photo, it's not quite all the way in and it's perfectly stable, works fine. And that was the solution. Really annoying because it took so long. I even went as far as looking up the M32's website to check which pedals were compatible. Realized the Alasis pedal that I was using was not on their recommended list. So then I had to order an M Audio SP2, which took a couple of days to arrive. Tried that, still had the same problem. Now that I've accidentally fixed it by pulling it out a little bit, the other pedal works absolutely fine as well, so long as I do the same thing and don't push it in all the way. Um, an amusing story for some people, I imagine. Uh, not for me particularly, it took absolutely ages. I've now missed out on a load of composing, but there we go. Uh, the job is eventually done. I hope that solves a problem if you are having issues with a sustain pedal. I imagine it won't work for everybody on every keyboard, but that's a solution I found this week. Okay, take care everybody. Bye for now.